Okay, continuing what practicing some mono hybrid just to make sure you don't forget. Let's see what we have now. This is Boxer Dogs again, and so we have our legend for their colors. Three different alleles Big B, then F, and then W. B is the dominant one that will run over any of the others. White is can only occur if it's homozygous because it's the most recessive, and then we have fawn in between. And they say here a fawn colored female, and they don't tell us the genotype. This is a bit of a problem because there are two ways to be a fawn. So mom is big F blank, and worse yet, the dad is brindle, which means he's big B. We don't know what goes in this space either. It could be another B, or the F, or the W. Either way, he'd be brindle. And they have puppies which are 50% fawn, which would make them little f blank, and the other half are brindle, which are big B blank. So, what is the most probable genotype for the parent boxers? Well, let's get a list here. Let's put up the possible genotypes for each of the parents, and then we'll see if there are any we can rule out. Mom could be FF, or she could be FW, and Dad could be BB, BF, or BW. Are there any of these that could not be the case? If Dad were BB, what would that mean? Every one of his offspring would get a big B from him, meaning this couldn't happen. This is what we call true breeding brindle. Every one of the offspring from this one would be a brindle, and that means since there are fawn puppies over here, this one cannot be right. We can lose that for sure. Are there any others where we can do that? I'm not, I don't see any more obvious ones. Full dominant is easy to recognize because it usually produces 100% of something in the offspring, and we're not seeing that here. Uh, yeah, d just trying to eyeball it, I'm not having any success. So I think what we might have to do, which will take a little bit of time, but it won't actually be all that hard, is cross each of these mothers with each of these fathers, and we'll see which ones give us a 50-50 ratio. If there are any that do that, then that's an excellent fit to the data, and we'd say that's a probable genotype. And any that don't do that, we can rule out. And we might find some impossible combinations that I'm just not seeing right now. So if we do, let's say, FF with, we'll do the first possible mom with the first possible dad. F. F cross B F. What would that give us for a Punnett square? Well, mom can only produce F type eggs, so that's nice and simple. And dad could contribute either a B or an F, so from that we would get a Punnett rectangle. Sorry, I'm going to make this a little neater. For this one, we'd get mom contributing F all the time and add contributing either B or F. This combination is BF, this one is FF, and that would give us Brindle 50% and Fawn 50%. So I'm going to give this one a big green check mark. This could definitely be the parents. Now let's see if any other combinations can do that too. It would be nice if no other combination did, then we'd only have one nominee here, but let's see what happens. So I did FF with BF. Let's try FF with BW and see what we get. What if mom is FF and dad is BW? We still get a Punnett rectangle where mom is contributing an F. That's all she has. Dad can contribute either this or this. And we get BF and FW. 
Uh, unlucky. This also gives us 50% brindle and 50% fawn. So we have a second contender. Or sorry, this could also be the genotype of the parents, and that would be a perfect fit to the offspring we're seeing. Two other combinations we could try. What if we had FW with BF? F, W, cross, B, F. This will be a 2 by 2 Punnett square for the first time. Mom contributes either F or W. Dad contributes either B or F. And we get B, F, 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 B, W, and F, W. Well, again, we get, both of these are brindle, so we get 50% brindle here. Both of these are fawns, so we get 50% fawn again. Another one that is totally possible and would explain our 50-50 puppies. So, we're not doing great. We haven't ruled out any of these yet. What about the last one? What about FW cross BW? F, can I fit this in the corner here? F W is crossed with B W. Two by two Punnett square. Mom contributes F or W. Dad contributes B or W. And we get B F, F W, B W, and W W. Okay, this at least we can rule out. This one predicts that we should get 50% brindle, 25 percent, one out of four fawn, and one out of four white, which did not happen. This one is not a good fit to the, op the data we've seen. And so, we can say that one is unlikely based on what we are seeing. Unfortunately, any of these other three would be all right, and so we would have to say that FFBF, FFBW, and FWBF are all equally probable. I'm saying what are the probable genotypes of the parent boxers? It could be any of these.